Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for the function and graph. So given that fx is equal to ln bracket x minus 3 and the function of gx is equal to 4x plus 9. So a, find the f inverse, then state its domain and range. Let y is equal to fx. f inverse y is equal to x. So in here, let the fx become y. So y is equal to ln x minus 3. So given the situation is the log form, kindly convert the situation into index form. So where we will have e to the power of y equals to x minus 3. Finally, x is equal to exponent y plus 3. So given the situation x is equal to f inverse y. So rewrite the situation. f inverse x is equal to e to the power of x plus with the 3. So kindly refers to the situation and state its domain. So the domain for f inverse is equal to kindly refers to the function given the function is the exponent x. So meaning that the domain for the inverse function or the exponent x is equal to negative infinity until infinity. Next, what we're going to do is to find the range for the f inverse, which is equal to the domain of f. Kindly refers the situation where we have the function fx is equal to ln bracket x minus 3. Given the situation is a log form, so x minus 3 must be greater than 0. So the domain for the f will be x greater than 3. So as a conclusion, the range for the f inverse is equal to domain for f, which is 3 until infinity, where the 3 is not included. b. Show the relationship between the graph of f and f inverse on the diagram. So meaning that now we are going to sketch the graph. So now we have the x, y axis kindly refers to the situation where we have the fx is equal to ln bracket x minus 3. And for the f inverse, we have exponent x plus with the 3. So kindly focus on the fx. So given the domain for the f is 3 until infinity. Next, what we have to do is to find the intercept. So when x is equal to 0, so we will have ln negative 3. So as we all know, kindly refers to the domain, the x must be greater than 3. So when it is equal to 0, the situation will be undefined. So meaning that the y-intercept does not exist. Third part, y is equal to 0. If y is equal to 0, meaning that 0 equals to ln bracket x minus 3. So we will have exponent 0 plus with the 3 will be equal to x. So the value of x will be equal to 4. So the points of intersection for the x-intercept will be 4, 0. Next, kindly observe the coefficient of x. So in here, the coefficient of x is a positive. If it's a positive, meaning that the direction or the basic shape for the graph would be towards the right. So now, focus on the situation where we have the asymptote 3. So now we have the asymptote x is equal to 3. We have to sketch the graph for the situation ln bracket x minus 3. So the graph for the ln will be something like this. So where we have the intersection point 4, 0. So fx is equal to ln bracket x minus 3. Next, what we have to do is to sketch the f inverse. So in here, actually we are reflect the cases or we reflect the situation. 
kindly focus on x is equal to 3. If we reflect the situation, it will become y is equal to 3. So where we will have 1, 2, 3. And in here, the asymptote will be y is equal to 3. Next, kindly focus on the x-intercept. So if we reflect the situation 4, 0 at the x-intercept, it will become y-intercept. So where we will have 0, 4. So next, focus on the coefficient of the x. It is a positive and then we notice that the graph the basic shape for this graph will be towards the right so in here our graph will be something like this next highly have the reflection axis so where we have y is equals to x then we have f inverse is equals to exponent x plus with the 3 now we have the question C. Find the G rho f inverse x. Then sketch the graph for the function y equals to G rho f inverse x. So where we have the G x is equals to 4x plus 9. The function for f inverse x is equals to exponent x plus 3. So G rho f inverse x is equals to g for the function exponent x plus 3 kindly substitute the f inverse into the g so we will have 4 multiplied with exponent x plus 3 plus with the 9 so 4 exponent x plus 12 plus 9 finally the g rho f inverse x is equals to 4 Multiply with exponent x plus 21. Next, sketch the graph for the function for exponent x plus 21. So, kindly focus on the situation. First, the domain for the function, which is negative infinity until infinity. Second part, Kindly focus on the function exponent x. Focus on the coefficient and we know that the graph would be towards the right. y is equal to 4 multiplied with exponent x. The graph will be something like this. Where we have the asymptote y is equal to 0 and the points of intersection is equal to 4 when x is equal to 0. Next, now we have to add on 21 unit. So meaning that we will have 5 and then we will have 10, 15, 20, 21. The horizontal asymptote will become y is equal to 21. Meaning that we need to shift the graph upward for 21 unit. And the points of intersection will be 25. Because we have to add on 21 unit. The function will be g rho f inverse x is equal to 4 multiplied with exponent x plus 21. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.